this is problem 4.4 and in this case we have to we like to find the moment of these two forces the moment that these two forces produce respect to point actually this point is called o is equal to o okay so the definition of moment respect to any point will be equal to the distance of one force cross product the force plus the distance to the other force cross product the force too. In this problem, as you see, for this particular problem, R1 is equals to R2. You see that both forces are located at the same point. Not necessarily in any other problem, but for this particular problem, F1 and F2 are located at the same point, so these two are the same. Therefore, we can write that the moment respect to O will be equal to R, let's call this a R, generic, cross F1 plus F2. Everything as above. And this is only because R1 and R2 are the same. If R1 and R2 are different, for example, before F2 is located at another point of this pipe, then we have to do two separate cross products. So since R is the same, let's find R and let's find F1 and F2. We already have F1 and F2, so F1 plus F2, which is actually the resultant force, which is this one right here. We don't have any other force applied to the system for in this particular case, will be this added together. When I add two forces, I add the components. So I will add 100 minus 200 in I, let me write that in brackets instead because I will use parentheses because I will use the brackets for the unit. 200 in I, and then I have negative 120 plus 250 in J, plus in K I have 75 plus 100 in K. And I use the brackets for my units. So let me write this a little bit better. This is 100 in K. So therefore, I have that, I add all this together, right? And I have negative 100 in I, 130 in J, and 175 in K and I close my brackets and include my units. So this is my resultant force that where I will use right here. R, I need R, right, which is common for the two forces, and is the position vector from A to the point where the forces are applied, which is the point A. So my R is the position vector O to A. And that will be equals to, I recover four feet in I. In J, I cover five feet. And in K, I go three feet. Now that I have both vectors, I can apply my cross product. So my cross product, let me do it in another color. My cross product then will be a vector, which is R cross the resultant force. And this is only because R is common for the two of them. I have very said that very several times already. And that will be I, J, K, 
my r will be four five three right and my vector will be 100 130 and 175 so with math you remember that this cross product you take the i and then take this little determinant then take negative j and this determinant that is left and plus k times this determinant so that will be equals to for i we have four times 175 minus minus 100 times 3. No, sorry. This is 5. So it's 5 times 175 times 130 times 3. This will be E i. Then in J, I have 4 times 175. And remember that the J is negative. So we have to never forget that we have I positive, J negative, and K positive. So 4 times 175 minus, minus 100 times 3, and that will be 20. And for K, let me do it here because I don't have that much space over here. So it will be 4 times 130 minus, this is minus 100 times 3, times 5. Okay, times 5. So as you see, if you lose a little bit of attention, you get that wrong. So let's review it again. So for i, we have 5 times 175, negative 130 times 3. For j, we have 4 times 175 minus minus 100 times 3. And for k, we have 4 times 130 minus minus 100 times 5. So we do out these multiplications, and this value over here is equals to 485 in i. This value over here. So this is negative 1,000 in J, and this value over here gives me a positive value, so 120 in K. And of course, I never forget the unit. Since I'm multiplying distance times force, I have pounds fifty, so and this is the moment looking forward, which is the moment of these two forces, respective point O. And this is the solution of this problem.